In step 5 of exercise number 7, the Modify Cutting Conditions parameters on the Technology Wizard page are explained in detail. These include the Material Database and Tool Material, Chip Control, Feed Control, Spindle Control, Cutting Angle Control, and Turbo Mode. In the SolidCam Manager, double-click iRough Main Island. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed. Switch to the Technology Wizard page. On the Modify Cutting Conditions tab, you will find that Advanced Control is available for the operation. The Material Database is inherited from the Tool Definition. If you click the drop-down menu, a list of the 70 plus materials that are supplied with the system will be displayed, as well as any added material files. Like mentioned in the previous exercise, changing the material database selection in the operation is an efficient way for machining different materials on a per operation basis. The tool material is also inherited from the tool definition. You cannot change the type of material given to the tool in the operation. You can, however, manually set a percentage adjustment using the override checkbox. The percentage adjustment will be used to calculate the maximum cutting speed of the tool for the operation. The following sets of parameters are automatically calculated by the wizard. In the chip control area, the max chip thickness value represents the maximum chip thickness for machining level 8. The min chip thickness value represents the minimum chip thickness for all machining levels. In the feed control area, the feed rate max value represents the maximum cutting feed rate for machining level 8 when the tool is cutting at the minimum cutting angle. The reposition feed value represents the feed rate for reposition moves when the Z is down in the cut. In the spindle control area, the max spin value represents the maximum spindle speed for machining level 8 when the tool is cutting in XY. The max cutting speed value represents the maximum velocity between the edge of the cutting tool and the surface of the workpiece for machining level 8. The required power at motor value represents the power required for machining level 8. In the cutting angle control area, the max surface area value represents the maximum percentage of surface area contact between the cutting tool and the workpiece for machining level 8. The max cutting angle value represents the maximum cutting angle for machining level 8. This value cannot exceed 80 degrees. The min cutting angle value represents the minimum cutting angle for machining level 8. 10 degrees is the lowest acceptable value. The level 1 max cutting angle value represents the maximum cutting angle for machining level 1. Override checkboxes are available to modify these values set by the wizard, while maintaining synchronization across step down, step over, spindle speed, and feed rate. It is strongly recommended that, only if the machining level slider does not produce a desired result, you should override any one or more of these parameters. If the decision to override a value is necessary, enable the accompanying checkbox to open a field for editing. If the modified value cannot be synchronized, the field gets painted red and a border crossing arrow icon appears. When the icon is clicked, the wizard will calculate the nearest reconcilable value. The value is written to the field and the field gets painted yellow. For this particular operation, no overrides will be used. Last but not least is the Turbo Mode feature. This option enables all levels of the machining level slider to become more aggressive and to yield an estimated 25% higher material removal rate. If Turbo Mode is enabled, the values appearing on the Modify Cutting Conditions page are representative of Machining Level 8 Turbo. And if Turbo Mode is disabled, the values are representative of Machining Level 8 Normal. At this stage, Step 5 is complete, and the Modify Cutting Conditions parameters on the Technology Wizard page were explained in detail.